Let's talk for a minute about what crisis intimacy looks like in marriage. Hi, I'm Angela, the Christian sex expert, and there are 12 different kinds of intimacy that we can expect in marriage. Sex is only one of them. Today we're going to talk crisis. My dog got sick today, my little one, um, and within an hour of getting to the vet's office, we had to make the decision to put her down. Um, my husband had, when I had decided that I needed to take her into the vet, he had just walked into the amusement park where he was going to spend some me time, some of his unicorn space time. And, um, he had literally just walked in and I called and said, I have to take her in. She's sick. And he turned around, drove the hour to the emergency vets and, um, helped take care of our son during the process. And I know a lot of you are thinking, well, I mean, this seems like basic intimacy stuff, but for a lot of couples, this isn't so basic. Some couples really struggle with crisis intimacy and how to support each other during a crisis. Um, so it's things like my husband has given me the space to just hole up in my bed. She should be... <laughs> She should be right here. This is her snuggle spot with me. In that pile of stuff, he's there. Um, but my husband has just given me the space to lay in bed and be sad. And he went and he picked up our dinner. He took care of my son. He took care of calling like our parents to tell them. Um, he took care, I had pulled meat out for dinner, he took care of browning that up so it wouldn't go bad and getting it into the fridge so I can deal with it tomorrow. Um, he has held me as I cried and I realized there are some couples who wouldn't have, and all of this has been done without me having to say, hey, please go pick up dinner. You know, hey, please take care of the ground beef that was sitting out. Like, it's just things that he is doing because he sees a need and he's filling a need. Um, and not every couple has that. Some, some couples, um, they really have to say, like, I don't feel supported in the middle of this crisis. I want you guys to think about the last time that you experienced a crisis. And I want you to talk about how the next time a crisis happens, you can draw closer together. Be good to each other.